have been wonderful. It's the third reunion I've come to, and they've all been absolutely great. If anyone doesn't remember me, I'm Mary Hulbert. I was deputy head. in the 70s. My first uh, thought of the 70s is that it was the decade of the two reigns. How many of you were here when Ray Stables was head? Yeah. How many of you were here when Ray Hatfield was head? Yeah. How many of you were here for both of them? they couldn't have been more different. I'm not saying that one was right and one was wrong. Maybe both were right, maybe both were wrong. But Ray Stagels, as a manager, would think about something for several days, have a word with me, call a meeting, or maybe another meeting, set out the pros and cons, listen to what everyone has to say, think about it, have another meeting and reach a consensus decision. And then he would let everybody who was in the slightest involved know about it, probably in writing. Ray Hadfield would have an idea, make a decision, and if you were lucky, you found out about it before it actually happened to you. <laughs> but as I say, that was just different ways of running the school. The one time that uh, Ray Stagels made a swift decision was in September 1975. He saw me at the lunchtime on a Friday and said to me, I'm going to see the Director for Education this afternoon. Mary, will you call in at my house this evening? And being the usual cooperative self, I said, but I'm going out this evening. I'll come tomorrow. And he said, no, no, I don't mind what time it is. Please call at my home this evening. Which wasn't the most convenient thing, as I live in Oxfordshire and he lived in Wokingham. But I did. I turned up about half past ten at night to be told that his wife had a terminal illness. He was being granted leave of absence uh, until further notice. And as for Monday... I was acting head. How many of you were here the year I was acting head? 75 to 76? Well, the rest of that is history. No. <laughs> the other thing I remember from the 70s is the, the decade of three building crises. The first one started for me, wait for it, in Ibiza, where I was on holiday in the summer. And I got a message, I won't explain how, from the county architect saying, when I got back, would I please contact him? Because Mr. Stables was on the Great Blasket Island off the south coast of Ireland and was incommunicado for two weeks. So after my holiday finished, I came back and I phoned and I was told the H block and the S block have got high alumina concrete beams. You can use the L block, although that's only two stories high and was nothing the size it is now, and the gym, and the sports center, but the rest you cannot. You may open one day late, and you can appoint one extra member of staff. The extra member of staff was Mrs. Penny Hollander, and she took mass supervision in the gym for half a year group for half a day at a time while the staff who would have been teaching them were frantically writing worksheets. Because you also, those of you who were here at that time, had come here as half days or whole days at home during private study, and there had to be worksheets for those as well. When you did come into school, we had lessons in the sports hall, and there, I remember it clearly, there were 10 rows of tables parallel to each other, end to end, 15 chairs down each side, teacher's chair at the end, and up to 10 lessons going on at the same time. I will never forget the day when Markham Clark banged on his table and said, would you stop listening to Miss Hulbert and listen to me? But then geography was more interesting anyway. 
And then they brought in some terrapins for us to use. I think they probably came off the ark. They were so old and decrepit. No electricity, so no lighting, no heating. And as somebody from the last reunion reminded me, no toilets. But at least you had a room to have lessons. And then one day in November, I remember it clearly, my class and myself, we were all in our coats because it was cold. They had insisted they couldn't see to write and they couldn't see the blackboard, so all I could do was talk, not that that ever bothered me. Um, <laughs> and suddenly the lights went on. And the cheer that went up, I would have thought, would have been heard in the college. It really was wonderful. And from then on, we had uh, lights. Sometimes the heaters worked, but of course, we didn't have any toilets there. The second building crisis happened the year I was acting head, and it was in the summer, and it happened on a Sunday, and it was just on one o'clock. I remember clearly, because I was had some of my family for the weekend, and I was just carving the Sunday roast when the phone rang. I took the call, finished carving, said to my family, there you are, there's the meat, there's the vegetables, the pudding's in the oven, I've got to go into school. At which my father said, oh, not on a Sunday, whatever for? And I said, well, the gym's on fire. <laughs> I don't know if any of you remember that, but I do remember arriving at school, thinking my God, what's more floss for the say on Monday, and standing in the gym, looking up at the charred rafters, and saying to the chief fire officer, they had put it out by then, do you think it's those rafters are safe? And he said, probably not. And I said, do you think we could finish this conversation outside? Which we did. And so for the second time, in a very short period of time, we had no gym. The third building crisis, um, I don't if any of you would have known of. It came a few years after the sixth form block had been built. We were very proud of the sixth form block because it was custom designed, uh, very modern. And is it still called the six form block, I wonder? The year 12, 13 block hasn't got quite the same ring to it, has it? Anyway, the six form block was wonderful. It was headed by Mr. Greenharsh. And then after a few years, we were told, ah, there's a bit of a problem. The six form block is moving. It's been built on clay and is now saturated underneath and um, if something isn't done about it, it's all going to tumble down. So the sex form block was closed for a short while and they installed pumps to pump out the surplus water and I wouldn't mind betting they're still there today, I don't know. Anyway, that's my memories of things which perhaps you might not think of. Your memories are going to be largely of each other and hopefully some of our staff and I'm not going to say more because you want to get on with the rest of your reunion, I'm sure. And I wish you all a lovely evening.